Hey everyone, it's Harold from iFastNet, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be showing you how to run Node.js applications on cPanel. First, we'll guide you through setting up a basic Node.js script. Then, we'll demonstrate how to install and run Express.js, a popular web framework for Node.js. So let's get started. To begin, navigate to set up Node.js app in your cPanel account and create a new application. Here we have several options for our Node.js app. First, we need to select the version of Node.js that we would like to use. I'll choose the latest available version. Next, there's the Application Mode option. You can set it to either Development or Production Mode. This option sets the value for Node ENV variable, as explained in the Node.js documentation. Then we need to set the root folder for our application. I'll use Site as the name here. cPanel will use this name to create a folder for the project in our account. After that, we need to select the domain we would like to use Node.js on. You can enter the name of the entry point file for your Node.js script such as server.js or app.js in the application startup file field, or leave it blank as cPanel will automatically choose it for you. Finally, we need to choose a path for the log file of our application. I'd like to have the log file in the logs folder. Now let's create the application. Our Node.js environment has been created. Now let's take a look at the files that cPanel has created for our Node.js application in the file manager. You can see that cPanel has created a new folder with the name of the application and inside this folder, there's the app.js file. Let's examine the content of the file. It's a basic Node.js file that prints the it works message and the Node.js version. Note that the port number in the server listen function isn't significant. You can choose to use any port, or you can even omit it. So if I open my website, this simple Node.js script runs, as you can see. Now that we've installed a simple Node.js file, it's time to install Express.js and configure our website to run it. To do this, I'll first copy this command here that starts with source by clicking on it. This command allows us to enter the virtual environment for our Node.js project. Now, I'll go to the terminal section in my cPanel to install Express.js. In the terminal, I'll first execute the command I copied to enter the virtual environment for my Node.js application. As you can see, it entered the virtual environment, and it shows the application name and Node.js version here. We're currently in the project folder, and you can see the app.js file here. So I'll install Express.js using Node.js Package Manager first. Now that it's installed, I'll copy the simple hello world example code for Express.js in the app.js file. Done. Note that we need to restart the Node.js application from cPanel each time the script files are updated. And here we go, welcome to Express.js. Now let's create a deliberate syntax error to see how to debug errors in Node.js applications. I add some random string here in the code file, and save it, and restart the application. Now my website shows an error page when I refresh it. To see the actual error, we can check the log file we have set for our Node.js application in the logs folder. So I open the log file, and the error is logged here. The last step is to set up a folder for static files for our Node.js website. To do this, let's first navigate to the root folder of our domain in cPanel's file manager. Here, we'll create a new folder called static. To test the setup, I create a sample test file in this folder, with some test content. Since this file is in the static folder, we'll need to add this folder in the URL of our test file. And voila, it's working.
I hope you enjoyed watching our tutorial video, if you want to see more tutorial videos like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you for tuning in.